And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We bring you Friday baseball on the show. It's the Milwaukee Brewers taking on the Miami Marlins. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team at home runs and runs batted in, Jorge Soler. Yeah, Boogie's one of the pillars of this lineup, and when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. Just about set to go and towing the slab in this one, Braxton Garrett. A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. Ready to go now. And now the rookie Here second go, baseman, Walker. Nicholas the Dude. Nicholas. Here we go, kid. The Dude. And he deals. That Eight. one's in there. And we are underway. Hey, say hi, huh? Yo, Juan. And that one wrapped foul. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Well, it looks like he wanted that slider to finish on the inside part of the plate, not start on the inside and end up hitting the batter. It looked to me like he just tried to do a little too much with that one. Here's Mark Canna. First offering, and it just misses. The dude on at first, nobody out. Get your pitch, drive it right here. Swing and a miss. And that's yeah, strike one. Right. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. The 1-1. One -one. Good eye right there. Step off throw to first, oh, and he's back in easily. Nobody out, runner at first. Hit on the ground, might be two. Throws to second for one. Relay to first, double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. to the top of the Milwaukee order. Here's the second baseman, Nicholas the Dude, hit by a pitch leading off the ball game. Well, he's been having a great year this year and hitting home runs at a good clip, and the matchup is very favorable. And fouled off. First and second, two down. That's to third, Berger. Tosses to first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. So two runs, three hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Marlins three and the Brewers two. So digging in, Ryan De La Cruz. He walked and came around to score his first time up. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper birdie runs. That's in for a strike. Throw to second. Great jump.
back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the second baseman, Nicholas the Dude. He's 0 for 1. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Line drive, caught! Timed it perfect. It's hard, I think, for those guys on the corners because, you know, especially when it's a you know right-handed hitter for third baseman, you don't see the ball all that well. Four, four, take the base. Three, 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 three. Digging in, the Nicholas the Dude. Second base. Hey, here we go, Nicholas. Kid. The dude. Okay, let it rip, let it rip, let it go. Hey, let it fly, let it fly. Oh, that plunked him. And that's now twice he's been hitting this one. Well, right now he's thinking, man, I wish that would have been an off-speed pitch, but instead of fastball, and you can tell that hurts a little bit. Canna in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Right here. Come on now. And the 0-1. Good oh. eye in that spot. One ball, one strike. Right now. And a foul ball. See it? Drive. Let's go. Right here. In the dirt, blocked. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Hey, drive that pitch. Oh, here we go. And down on strikes. Third out, and that ends the frame. This one pretty well decided at this point. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Marlins nine and the Brewers two. Here's the left fielder, Brian De La Cruz. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score, and not as lopsided as this. Um, but yeah. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Marlins 10 and the Brewers 2. So the batting order turns over. Next for the Brewers, Nicholas the Dude. And a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. Hey, you can do it. No one better. Let's go. Close one. Doesn't get the call. 1 and 0. Oh. Telez off of first with two away. Up the middle. And they'll go the short way. And that is the ball game. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. 10-2 the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.